Hello and welcome back to the Reapers. Today we're in our A10C and, and we're looking at selective jettison. So before we do selective jettison, we've got non-selective jettison. We've got our emergency storage jettison here. So if we're flying along and suddenly we get jumped by um, a bunch of MiG-21s and a sexy chase ensues and we need to dump our non-critical air-to-air weapons, we'll press this. Everything will dump from the plane except air-to-air -air weapons. So in this case, it'll be the aim line sidewinders to stay on. And if we've got a TTP and we have, I believe that stays on as well. That can be used for air-to-air -air as well. Now let's look at the selective jettison ability. So we're going to go to the DSMS page, the digital stores page. We're going to go to selective jettison. So what we've got here is all of our stores lined up on their respective pylons on the aircraft. We've got two buttons that we're going to use here. We've got uh, the fusing button here. We can change different types of fusing because we can drop jettison these uh, weapons fused if we like. And we've got the method in which we're going to drop. Are we going to drop the store direct from the pylon? Are we going to drop the rack? If, uh, for instance, these guys here, uh, these AGMs are mounted to this rack here, we can drop that rack. In that case, it would drop and the stores would drop with it. Or do we want to fire a missile? In this case, that would be relevant to... Uh, if we wanted to fire, say, these AGMs, we could fire them off one by one, unfused. So why don't we do the missile first? So I, you could select these missiles and these missiles over here as well, and it would fire them in pairs. Or I just want to, for instance, drop this, fire this one here. So it's flashing green, so it's ready to fire. Make sure we've got our master arm on, which in this case we have, and we're going to press and hold the weapon release button. Let's watch him go. Whee! Off he goes. And he's not armed, so it's, in theory at least, not going to explode. Now let's say we wanted to drop that rack... Uh, with the remaining Maverick on it, and we would go to here, uh, rack, and I'm going to select this rack here, whoops, select it, and you can see it is a, it's a Lau 88 rack with 1 times ATM 65 on it, let's see if we press the rep and release now, whee, goodbye rack, so that's that, uh, what's next, let's go and fire some more missiles, because that was jolly good fun, let's go and fire these AGMs, Pew, pew. And now drop that rack. And it's already selected. Goodbye. Next we go to the bombs. And the bombs, we can drop them either. Uh, well, in fact, let's get them selected first. So stores. We can drop them safe. Or we can drop them armed with uh, nose fuse, with the tail fuse, or with the uh, nose and tail fuse. And I want to drop a single CBU-87. And that's one drop there, and I think we've got another one over there, so why don't we drop him as well. And next we've got these um, Triple Mark 83s on a rack, on a TER rack of some kind, so let's go to rack. And uh, if I'm dropping the whole rack, I can't fuse the bombs, so I'm going to go him, and I want to drop him. And I've got a rocket pod somewhere over there. Uh, I want to drop, I think it's that one there. Whoops. Oh, hey, off goes the rocket pod. So that leaves us with just the lightning pod and the aim nine. The lightning pod, we're pretty sure you can't jettison. The aim nines, we don't think we can jettison through the selective jettison screen. So what we're going to try instead is just firing them off. So I've got them selected in a basic air to air mode now. And pion. just be careful that we are firing them fused at this point. So that's the thing to bear in mind. That's them fired off. Uh, so that's as far as we can take it. Out of interest, we've got some tongue-in-cheek anecdote why we can't jettison the racks for the AIM-9s. What did you say, Sly? Uh, according to a post I found, uh, apparently uh, jettisoning the D uh, DRA or the AIM-9, which is the, the rack that they're on, uh, was uh, not authorised because it was never tested. So how accurate that is, we don't know, but that's quite cool. Right, that's all we've got to say. Hope that helps. See you later.